But we begin tonight with the battle between MoveOn.org and President Bush. Eli Pariser is executive director of MoveOn.org. And Eli, thanks for joining us. Good evening. Eli, last week you ran this full page ad in the New York Times. Today, President Bush weighed in. I want to get your reaction, so let's listen. I thought the ad was disgusting. And I felt like the ad was an attack not only on General Petraeus, but on the U.S. military. And that was a sorry deal. And uh, one thing to attack me, it's another thing to attack somebody like General Petraeus. Eli, your reaction? Well, first, what I think is disgusting is that the president is keeping our troops in harm's way with no exit plan, with no willingness to listen to the American people uh, or many of the generals uh, and change his course on the war. But uh, second, I'll, I'll just point out, uh, you know, move on is not against the troops. We're against the lies. Uh, many of our members are veterans. Many of our members are Iraq veterans and, and, their, and their families, and they are sick and tired. Uh, of, of the president and his administration continuing to mislead people about what's going on on the ground in Iraq in order to sell us 10 more years of war. Eli, that's a great argument to make, and you guys were making it pretty well until 10 days ago when this ad ran. And since then, the entire debate has been about General Petraeus. Is that what you guys set out to do? Well, we, we thought it was very important to demonstrate that General Petraeus was coordinating with the White House as part of a political strategy. And, in fact, he was on the phone uh, with his staff every morning, uh, reported by the Washington Post, uh, talking about how to, quote, unquote, sell the surge. So this is, unfortunately, uh, you know, President Bush has a, has a tendency to politicize the military. That's what happened here. And, unfortunately, we know that the generals who do speak out, typically in the Bush administration, uh, have, been, have been fired or marginalized for doing so. Eli, I want to ask you about some senators today who voted in condemnation of the ad. There was a non-binding resolution in the U.S. Senate that passed 72 to 25. More than 20 Democrats supported the condemnation of the ad, including by Casey, Leahy, Mikulski, Tester. John Tester, for example, he received more than $300,000 in donations from MoveOn.org. Isn't that a big repudiation when somebody who's received several hundred thousand dollars through your organization repudiates you? Well, look, we uh, helped elect John Tester and many other people, uh, not not uh, for the, for their own sake, uh, but because we wanted to help make sure that this war uh, uh, came to a swift end. We thought a Democratic Congress would help do that. So far, the Democrats have not yet delivered on the promise, on the mandate uh, that voters gave them this November. Uh, and so, you know, until until that happens, uh, we're going to be more concerned about the war uh, than than about what they ha what the Senate has to say about this ad. And frankly, you know, I think it's kind of outrageous that the the U.S. top deliberative body uh, spent hours and hours today talking about an ad instead of providing our troops with with the with the leave time that they needed, or instead Eli, of instead of leading the way that? out of this Didn't war. Didn't you give them? Were you the one who gave them the opportunity to do that? Well, but it's it is outrageous that this Senate uh, thinks it's more important to debate an ad than to talk about uh, how to end this war. I mean, that's, Eli, that's they what never this would have done it had you guys not politics. put the ad out. And so I just want to get back. Given all the attention, do you, do you stand by the ad? In other words, General Petraeus is going to be testifying again. I haven't heard you say that you apologize for this ad or that it was a mistake. And do, do you feel it was a mistake? No, I think it's important uh, to remember that in a democracy, the truth comes first. It comes over the president and it comes over a, uh, over the general. If someone okay, having, in having 2003, in 2003, uh, if we had run a similar ad against Colin Powell, we would have had the same kind of uh, you know uh, elite uh, hand wringing and condemnation. Uh, but the fact is that if someone had looked at those facts more closely, we wouldn't be in this mess in the first place. Someone having, needs to do the fact checking, and uh, and unfortunately, that sometimes falls to groups like Move On. Eli, we know that uh, General Petraeus is going to be testifying again in a couple of months. Uh, given that you stand by the ad, would you run it again? We are going to keep uh, talking about the betrayal of trust of this administration, uh, and, and that's going to happen in a variety of ways, and, and advertising is one of them. But the fact is uh, that the General Petraeus and President Bush uh, have misled the country about the facts on the ground in Iraq in order to send, uh, sell us 10 more years of war, uh, and someone needs to call them on that. But, Eli, a lot of Democrats are calling up and saying that they're upset with MoveOn.org, that perhaps you guys overplayed your political hand, given that you guys seem to be doing really well on this debate until the ad ran. And a lot of Democrats are wondering if you have any regrets about how this has played out, given that there's been a constant focus for the last 10 days on General Petraeus 
and not a focus on some of the issues you raise, such as the lies to war, what's going on in the ground, and whether or not the books were cooked in terms of this report. Well, let's remember what happened here. The president and the general spent five days trying to convince the people that we should stay in Iraq. What do the polls show? The polls show that since last week, there has been a small increase in the number of people who support our position uh, on the war, that we need a responsible and swift withdrawal. So what that says to me uh, is that the president and, and the general ultimately failed in making the case to the American people about 10 more years of, of war. Uh, and, you know, did the ad have something to do with that? I, I can't tell you that. Uh, but, uh, but, but the facts are that the public has moved more against the president and his policy in the last 10 days. Eli, I, I, you can't argue with the numbers, but I still think a lot of people in this town believe that it was a political mistake. Well, that's right. In, in Washington. In Washington. Well, that's, that's true. And, you guys and are we're an outsider group. We represent people an all, over the, group all, is, all over the country. That's true. You're a very powerful uh, outside group. In fact, I think I just read that you uh, contributed twice as much money in the last campaign as the NRA. But in any case, Eli, thanks for coming in. Eli Paris, your executive director of MoveOn.org.